Right guys, welcome back to another. Just an update for me today. So going through where we're currently at, what's going on, how I'm feeling, all that interesting stuff that I know no one fucking listens to, but I do it anyway, because that's who I am. I'll start before you all bugger off by thanking you for the reception to the last, um, last video, the one before, the one with me and Yvette, with uh, our little couple's Q&A, because that went down really well. Um, she was hesitant, so just to, to kind of get that reception, was fantastic, some very kind comments. Um, no negativity, which is lovely, so well done everyone for keeping your mouth shut. And uh, she'll definitely be back in the future. So if you want anything particularly from her, sounds wrong, um, let me know and we can see what we can get going. We'll keep it, keep it PC. Um, so yeah, my update. We are sitting here today, four weeks to the day before I start prep. So I am excited about that. Very, 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 very ready for it. Um, body weight now is, is trended down. So with week three into this cruise, just starting. And um, I have taken food down each week by a small amount, just from an appetite perspective. Um, and the body weight is sort of leveled off around 141, 142, um, which is you know, a good chunk down from my heaviest, but I feel good for it. Um, but at the same time, it's like equally heavier than I was like at any point in any previous off season. So that is a nice little indicator for me. Um, as I said, appetite is in a good place. Um, digestion is improving. I don't think I've ever touched upon this because just I don't I don't like admitting uh, weakness or that I'm not like that my body isn't fucking superhuman. But towards the end of the push, the last push, I was getting really bad kind of bloating and stuck kind of stomach issues. You know, as we do, Google symptoms, they're nothing too dramatic, I don't have stomach cancer, but like IBS, IBD, colitis, somewhere in that it seemed to be, you know, with regards to kind of bowel movements, general feeling around meals and stuff. So what I've spent a lot of time doing over the past two weeks is stripping things back, finding out, trying to find out at least what makes it worse and what makes it better. And I think I've kind of nailed a few things. Pulling my fats down has helped. Um, pulling some sugars out has helped. I'm not a big fizzy drink uh, drinker, but I did have a few and I won't lie, having taken them out now, there is less bloating, less wind um, and that makes me feel a lot better because again just keeping it real um one of my biggest insecurities moving into prep is my waistline um you know when i started off bodybuilding for, for a good few years i like my waist i lo fucking loved it i look back at photos and i do i do miss that look it was very physique-esque on a bodybuilder and it has definitely grown as you would expect with you know, continued use of anabolics, growth hormone, and more importantly, effective abuse of food. Um, so obviously that as an insecurity already combined with the, um, the IBS symptoms was a, a real head fuck. And yeah, I just wanna like put it out there now that that is something that I am most concerned about moving into prep and how that will come in, how that will look, because it's all very well adding tissue elsewhere. But if your waist gro grows or looks as big or bigger, it kind of detracts from the overall look anyway. So we will see. Stay tuned. Um, I'm doing what I can at the minute, like I said, with regards to managing digestion as efficiently as possible and being super strict there. Um, and also, you know, with regards to kind of core control, vacuums, I don't want to work. That is all in. So that's that. Um, so yeah, four weeks out. Where are we going over the next month? Training stays the same. I've planned a deload week the week prior to starting prep. So that will be a, session, a week where I pull back to three sessions low volume. I will be getting bloods done. Or they're already booked in for that week. Um, and then that will set me up from a, you know, knowing where I stand perspective, moving into, um, moving into prep. So obviously when I get those bloods results, exactly like last time, I will be transparent. I will put it out there um, and we will talk it through. Um, I'm not sure there's a whole lot else to add. Like over the, over the coming weeks, the, the next three weeks, is gonna be training kind of hard and really working there. 
Um, oh, actually, one thing I did want to kind of touch upon with my training that has changed a little bit in terms of the, the long-term like overall view is I've been backwards and forwards with deloads so much throughout the last two or three years. I've tried them, I've sometimes felt the benefit, I've not done them and had really good prolonged spells of training with no, no impact. What I have found over the past like three or so months is it seems to be every six to seven weeks that I start to feel shit. I either pick up a niggle or get a little bit ill. So what I'm doing this time, obviously last time I was a forced deload because I got ill. So since then, I'm now going to do um, effectively an eight-week cycle. So six weeks hard training, one week of a deload, three sessions, reduced volume, one week back up to five sessions, still reduced volume, and then week one effectively is all sessions with more volume. And I say more because what I've trialed this time around is actually building volume for the first three weeks. So this session was the highest volume I've done so far and will probably be where I hold volume moving forwards because, you know, volume is one of those where it is something you can adjust in your favour, but it's not something you can exponentially just increase and increase and increase because it will bite you in the arse. So yeah, again, how long have I been doing this? How am I, like, I'm still learning, I'm still trialling things. In my mind, this sounds good. Uh, so far, my body, as I said, this training run, week three right now is feeling fantastic. So we're kind of halfway through before that deload. And uh, I'll, I'll let you guys know how it goes. And we'll, if it feels good and, and looks good, then I'll probably continue that through prep. Um, and maybe just have to adjust timings a, li a little bit so that I hit my shows where I need to hit them. Um, and that, I think, very much wraps up the update. There's not going to be too much to say at this point. Training's going well. Digestion and appetite is better than ever, uh, or better than recent times, not ever. Um, very excited for prep and just making those small kind of adjustments leading into that. Um, and yeah, May the 6th, Monday, May the 6th, prep starts. Probably try and do a video on that day and uh, take you guys along for the final ever prep. Thank you for all the love, thank you for all the support. Like, comment, subscribe, ask any questions. Put any topics you want me to cover below and I will see you in the next video guys. Thank you very much.